What's up friends, this is Money and wow, what two days we had. Yesterday we bought Warabots for 6.66 million. <laughs> April Fool's joke from yesterday. And now we have beef in our Warabots creator community. Now, I do want to say I'm not really interested in escalating it further. We're all here doing Warabots content and while some of us are more critical towards it and others are less, at the end of the day we're all here for that and we're all humans with emotions and flaws and we can get upset and frustrated. Sometimes we vent that, maybe not always in the best way. Um, uh, but um, yeah, it's part of being human, I think. But I will definitely put things right that I see wrong, make an answer to Predator's video at the 9 minute mark, answer a couple of questions, also apologize for something where I messed up, and give you my perspective so you can make up your own mind. Point one, why didn't I just release the petition later together with the other creators? Short answer, because I don't think there would have been a later. Let me explain, I'll read it, because the petition date was moved back so many times before trying to find the final date that works for all of us creators. Uh, we finally then found it and what a weird coincidence, a day earlier uh, Pixonic announces my ban from the mentors program in an obvious effort to discourage us from going through with the petition. Um, to stop the whole thing in its tracks, somebody must have leaked it to them from the creators and they wanted to stop it. Now, I explained right then and there to all creators that there is no connection between my ban and the petition. Uh, and I also say it said the same thing in the video where I said I was banned from Warobots. I made 100% sure you guys know that the ban did not happen because of the petition. But because it went back to the DGEMS video and me doing Macarena content, I made 100% sure you know there is no connection between the two. You can look it up yourself, the video is online. And to make it seem like I released the petition and the I was banned video to create a connection between the two is just wrong and only there to make me look bad as the one who is trying to appear like a victim or something. I don't know. It's uh, And this is, uh, yeah, that's why you have comments like these under the creator videos telling them that, man, you're wrong. He clearly stated that uh, the ban had nothing to do with the petition and it went back to the DGMs with you and so on. But yeah, I still it still was portrayed like that. And um, now you might ask, if the ban happened so much earlier, why didn't I tell you about it or the creators? That's because for a month or so, I was in talks with Pixonic about this ban and until the last moment really before the release of the petition, it looked like we're going to get rid of the ban and move together forward in some way. Um, and only until really the last minute, it's pop turned around suddenly and they said, nope, there's no more cooperation. We're going to cancel any partnership and that's it. And uh, yeah, so I didn't tell anybody because it looked like until the last minute, the ban goes away. It's just temporary. I don't need to make a big announcement about it. Even then, I had no feeling of revenge for Pixonic and, and certainly wasn't going to use the petition for it. I, I, I knew this petition was something special because we all got together and I, I was part of that. That was awesome that all creators got together and made this for the health of the game, for the viewers that we have, uh, to make a better game and list a whole lot of ideas and ways to get that done. Um, and I wasn't going to misuse this for any personal revenge or vendetta or whatever. And I also told this to the people. Same as I told uh, there was no connection between the two. But man, things are definitely conveyed differently. And why do I think there would not have been a later for our petition? It's because it wasn't about waiting a day or two for the other creators. They said they're asking for Pixonic's permission to make that petition video, and only with that they will do it. Something anyone must have known right there and then that they would never get that permission. And unlike what Predator said, they did get a reply from Pixonic when they asked if they can do the petition, and the answer was, I would advise against it. Yeah, and with that, in combination with announcing of my ban, that was it for the petition, ladies and gents. So waiting or no, this thing would not have gone forward anymore, in my opinion. And I also told this, guys, I told everyone in this creator's chat that I know they won't give you permission and that I also will not allow Pixonic to throw around threats of bans here to discourage us from doing what we all know is right and needs to be done. And an important part of the information is that even then I was not alone among the creators to say we're still going to follow through the release schedule. It was only until an hour before the release when the last creator jumped off, when I already had the video scheduled. 
And another important part is right there. When I told them I will follow through the release, I also told them I will have to change the version because the first version had all creator names listed. So I had to change that, re-record the video. And I also told them, listen, if you don't release it with me, I will have to tell people that this was originally planned together as a release. And I will have to give people a reason why suddenly the other creators are not on board. And, uh, and that will obviously, if I don't give people a reason, create speculation and crazy comments. So I gave you guys a reason. I gave you the honest reason that these creators, they heard about my band, they got scared what might happen to them if they do the petition now, and so they didn't do it. And, uh, and by doing so, they did put their own interests and Pixonic interests before uh, you guys as the viewers who really needed this petition and this voice and this platform. So I gave you a reason, and it was, in my perspective, an honest reason and that I felt in this moment. Could I maybe have formulated the words differently? Probably. Should I have it done? It certainly. Yeah, okay. I give you that. But I was heartbroken, man. We worked on this for so long, and this was such an important thing for all of us. And within 24 hours, it all falls apart because Pixonic makes one statement, and they all uh, scramble away. Man, that broke my heart. And I was very frustrated, and I was very, very sad by this. So yeah, maybe I didn't find the perfect words there, but what I said was still not untrue. And none of the other creators could have been surprised about negative comments arriving on their channels. They made a conscious choice to not go through with the petition. Now, in all honesty, I also see that they were caught between a rock and a hard place, right? They didn't want to jeopardize their privileges with Pixonic. At the same time, they knew if they don't release the petition, there will be some negative impacts when it comes to some comments. Uh, and I understand it's a difficult situation, but man, sometimes you just gotta step up for what you think is right. And just look at the win that Pixonic scored that day. With just one single announcement, they destroyed our unity and made it so that the petition doesn't need to be taken seriously or doesn't get as much traction as it could have. And they even managed to discourage all future creators from doing Mecarina content and competitors. Man, what a freaking triple win. Well played, Pixonic. Now, I told you I also want to apologize for something. That live stream I was quoted on, I admit that was a really poor choice of words. I wish I had taken more time to respond to that viewer's question live, but and not do like a half-assed answer there while trying to concentrate on the game at the same time. But that's what live streams are, ladies and gentlemen. They're unedited. They're imperfect. And sadly, when you say something stupid or bad in a bad way, it's going to be out there for everyone to see. Now, what I wanted to say is that I see that people are putting pressure on the creators with comments like, hey, I unsubscribe from you now. I'm disappointed, blah, blah, blah. But the thing is, I also wanted to say, I understand where this frustration comes from. They don't suddenly hate you as a creator there but they want to put some pressure on it they want you to step up for them and that's what I meant with paying the price for it it was really badly put and also where I said that the creators might be happy with me leaving or being gone so they can get more views yeah I was talking about out of my ass there okay I mean I was just rambling on while playing a game and um and, and just formulating thoughts that came to me while I was playing. And you know what? That wasn't reflected. That wasn't smart. Uh, it was just me telling me what I thought in this very moment. And again, I am also frustrated by this whole situation, right? So yeah, definitely made a mistake there. I'm sorry for that. But here's a really important thing for you guys to know about me. I am honest with you. I will never lie to you. This is the single most important rule that I follow on YouTube. And... When I said this on this live stream, I was unhappy with it afterwards with myself because I knew it was a mistake, but I didn't try to hide it. I didn't take the video down. I could have set it to private, but I let it there because when I make a mistake, well, unfortunately, this sometimes happens. And I, if I can, I try to correct it, but if not, well, then it's there. But that's a concept not everybody follows because this video is created in response to Predator's video who took like 30 something minutes to, for a large part at least, uh, in my opinion, make me look bad. While he literally in one moment works together with us creators on the petition to help improve the terrible state of the game we all agreed on, 
to then a few days later making a video the truth about Warobots balancing right now, where he praises how the balancing is good and how the state of the game is not at all as bad as people think, and then two days later attack me specifically putting my name in the title, criticizing me how I went through with the petition that we had all planned together. Um, again, I made some mistakes there. Some of my word choices were really bad and I apologize for that. But with this video here coming out of nowhere, praising the balancing and saying how the state of the game isn't as bad after we worked on the petition for the exact opposite reason, I'm not surprised there's a lot of negativity on the channel. And because he's going up exactly against the opinion of his viewers there for a large part. I mean, just look at the comments and people's opinions and the amount of likes to them. Blink twice if you're held at gunpoint because you're saying all these sudden positive things about War Robots. Looks like Pixonic paid his elevation because of Manny. Stop it bro, this game is broken, stop lying to your fans. A hundred likes within five hours or so. Predator is trolling us a few weeks ago, he was in the petition and now he's doing this, betrayer and so on. I would say go through the comments yourself, but as of right now, as you can see here, this video was right there in between these two on March 29th, the video has been taken down because it was inconvenient that he first worked on the petition, then suddenly praises the balancing in the game and says the state of the game isn't as bad, and then starts to attack me on uh, doing the petition in the end. Now to me it almost seems like on this March 29th he pledged his allegiance to somebody and now with his latest video about me yesterday I feel like he's even fighting the battles for them. I don't know what else to make of it really. Uh, anyways, back to my list of points. Um, yes, I did try to quit Warobots in the past, and no, that was not lying to my viewers. I wanted to walk away from the game because I saw and still see where it's headed. The thing is though, when you do six years or seven years, one game only on a YouTube channel, you get like 90 plus percent viewers for that game only. And I had to learn, unfortunately, the hard way that even if I try to find a good match like Armored Core, it doesn't work very well. I tried a, str a strong transition, one to the other moment, and it was a bad choice. So what I think we might be able to do here on the channel, we can try to find a game we are all interested together. That's why I'm experimenting with different games, right? And maybe we can try to find something that, that seems to work well, where I can pick you guys up and you are also interested, or at least a good part of you, and we can make a slow transition. So that is what I would like to do. Um, but yeah, I did come back to War Robots because it does pay my bills and I made a choice back then when I started War Robots YouTube. I quit my job for this. I am living from this now and to say that Manny is doing this for views, what an obvious thing to say. Yeah, of course I'm doing this for the views. If you find a YouTuber out there who tells you that he's not doing his YouTube videos for the views, he's Either you're in fantasy land or he's just not being honest with you. Because at the end of the day, we all make our videos and we ch check our video five times probably just in the first hour how it performs. Predator even renames his video in the first hour uh, if he feels like it doesn't perform well enough in the first hour. And this is not an attack against him. It just shows he's good at what he does and he's he's... He's evaluating and he's watching the views and that is what I do too. We all do it and it's normal. And you, you, you shouldn't criticize a YouTuber for making videos that, that run the best. You know? And yeah, I do focus more on criticism because I I tend to report more on it. I feel it more in me. I have passion for the game. I love the game. On the other side, I also freaking hate it. And this is a, a constant struggle in myself and you'll find this in my content. That doesn't mean that uh, I will only purely make negative videos. Somebody saying I do only negative content clearly doesn't watch my content because in between of the vi negative videos are always some fun videos where I just try to relax and enjoy content with you. I try to do that during live streams, although my personality with sometimes makes it a little difficult to keep the good mood going when some nasty stuff happens in the game. I know, I'm not perfect, I'm making mistakes, uh, but I try to work on that. I, uh, those of you who follow my live streams, they know how I really try to work on keeping the good spirit and good mood going during the streams. Because I understand that's what many of you tune in for. Um, but it's just not in my nature to ignore things that really upset me. And I just say it when it happens. So please, guys, don't take it the wrong way. I, I don't think we need beef here in this War Robots community. I don't want it. I don't want to escalate. But at the same time, I feel like I needed to set a few uh, things clear here. Um, 
And uh, I believe we're all uh, in this together. We're all, all making mistakes and um, yeah, we're all just humans beings. So maybe we can move together forward and just uh, leave this behind uh, because clearly, and from what I gather, of course, there's always a few viewers who really love beef, but for the majority of our viewers, from what I gather from the comments, I'm literally being asked, please don't escalate it. Just let it, let, let's, let's just keep this calm. And I'm trying to do it, of course, there's a few things I felt like I needed to say here to also show that I, I don't, I'm not, I don't think I'm an asshole. I, I think I, I do these things because I love the game and I love you guys. And I know that you really, really appreciate it when I say the things that you also feel playing War Robots. I don't know, this was all non-scripted. That was just me talking straight from my heart to you guys. And um, yeah. I will leave it as that. Thank you guys for watching. Catch you in the next video and Manny signing off. Bye-bye.